The devastation is unreal. They're trying to clear streets now. It's amazing the way homes are scattered about, some we can't even find. That quote is from Lawrence Endermule, captain of the Oakfield, Wisconsin, First Responders Crisis Response Team, in an article in the Stevens Point Journal after an F5 tornado tore through his community on July 18, 1996. The twister struck the small village at 7.15 p.m. Central Time. Numerous homes and businesses were damaged in Oakfield. The Friday canning company was leveled and millions of empty cans were carried a distance of over 50 miles. Evidence of F5 damage was seen about one to four miles east of town. Four homes were demolished, swept clean from their foundations. We interviewed Tim Halbach from the National Weather Service in Milwaukee in our original podcast about this event. He explained that ample warning was given even though the data on radar didn't look like something that would produce a big tornado. If you were to look at the radar data, it wasn't the, the strongest rotation that you'd ever see on you know, typically what you'd see with the outbound, inbound velocities, it was kind of a, a small couplet that uh, produced this. And I mean, if you looked at the reflectivity at all, it was the normal hook echo, classic supercell look, but the, the velocities didn't, weren't actually that strong on it. Um, but uh, yeah, people had fair warning and were able to get into the basements. Uh, most people here in Wisconsin have basements, so they have a pretty good uh, safe place to go to when uh, something like that goes through. Along the 13.3-mile path, there were 12 injuries and no fatalities occurred. Debris from this tornado was found near the Lake Michigan shoreline, and there were canceled checks discovered 125 miles away near Muskegon, Michigan. Read our full summary about this event at tornadotalk.com and check out our archive podcast about the Oakfield F5 on our YouTube channel.